Thank you. So let me get, just to recap, on Tuesday I will give you the documents and then council will come back and tell me how you want to conduct the interviews. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just an update on the, on the Opera House here. Yes, update on the Opera House. Uh, we're, I've been waiting for three weeks for numbers to, uh, from a contractor that would give us the cost to make it reasonably sound. By reasonably sound, I mean uh, that we can take the bar barricades down uh, on Main Street and up the alleyway. And like I said, it's been three weeks. I've been promised. I spoke to the contractor today. Uh, he promised me numbers by the middle of next week, and he apologized. But uh, it's, it's, it's been ongoing, and uh, it's not lack of uh, uh, making phone calls and everything. I've been on, on top of everyone. We still have uh, an interested party who wants to come in, uh, a, you know, a, an investment group. But a lot has to do with what those numbers look like to make it substantially sound. So if you can bear with me, give me another week, and hopefully I can have some more news for you. Yeah, my my uh, comment was just a question. No, I, 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 Mr. Mayor, you said No, no, that's, that's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a political <laughs> appointment. <laughs> I'm sorry, I took it out, but apparently it wasn't effective. Uh, you said the Go Coal Grant that we yes, for passed the soccer that field. one? Oh, that one's for the soccer. soccer field. We also have another one down by the uh, river wall that we will be applying for. Okay, I'm just yes. getting it straight in my mind which one we let pass. Any other questions? Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of council. Uh, Is that better, Mr. Mayor? Uh, first, I wish to report that uh, our mediation for our litigation with the Arkansas River Power Authority is in the process of being confirmed for Thursday, April 19th, and Friday, April 20th. And uh, we are looking at Pueblo as the site for that mediation. And uh, it appears that it will be scheduled at the Cambria Suites Hotel there in Pueblo. Secondly, during last week's special meeting, you were provided with a letter from attorney Dennis Malone asserting that I have a concurrent conflict of interest that precludes my representation of the city of Trinidad regarding item 11G on this evening's uh, city council agenda. At your seating places, please find uh, third party legal opinion <coughs> countering Mr. Malone's assertion. No conflict of interest exists in my representation of the city r related to the possible removal of Mr. Gilmer Rubio. The applicable rule of professional conduct in the circumstances rule 1.13, which provides that a lawyer employed or retained by an organization, such as the city of Trinidad, represents the organization acting through its duly authorized constituents. <coughs> um, therefore, in the matter coming forward, I wish to explain clearly that I represent the city of Trinidad and not Mr. Gil Rubio. Finally, I, I feel compelled to address the, the proposed LED lighting project, and I, I do not intend my remarks to be adversarial. I, I merely seek to provide some clarification for the council. The, the sales pitch to this honorable council included representations that a federal mandate requires the city of Trinidad to convert its streetlights to LED technology by 2014. And that, that is a falsehood. I, I have consulted with the American Public Power Association, which is the premier trade association for power entities. And APPA confirms that there is no federal legislation uh, either enacted or pending that requires the city to convert its streetlights to LEDs. 
the, uh, the Energy Independence and Security Act of 2007, which has been cited in support of the sales pitch, has uh, also been misrepresented in this application to the City of Trinidad. Uh, as it regards lighting, this 2007 Act primarily imposes stricter energy efficiency standards for incandescent bulbs, and it's primarily for indoor use. Um, how many incandescent bulbs are used in the city of Trinidad's street lighting system? Zero. Our street lighting inventory consists primarily of high pressure sodium lamps uh, with a small percentage of mercury vapor lamps and metal halide lamps. Um, now, a portion of this 2007 Act does impose energy efficiency standards for uh, metal halide ballasts that are manufactured after a certain date, but uh, the Act imposes no requirements that the city upgrade or convert those lights. Um, if the city manager believes that I have misapplied the law to our circumstances, I, I respectfully insist that he prove otherwise to you. Um, I do wish to reiterate that I am still very much in favor of such a project that is intended to uh, be a cost savings measure for the city. So uh, I'm, I'm pleased that Mr. Gilbert Rubio is still uh, proceeding with the project there. Um, I, I do also wish to reiterate that I was advising Mr. Gilbert Rubio to proceed with a competitive silver process from the onset right after he presented it to the city council for the first time, I, I met with him and provided a copy of our procurement policy and uh, explained the process. And when it came up again, I, I did the very same thing. And uh, my, my council wasn't really follow at that time and I, when the project was shifted into overdrive here at the beginning of this year, I did my best to, to, to make an exception in our procurement policy fit. And during the city council's first work session, I did, uh, didn't deviate from my stance that going out to bid was the best course of action, but I did indicate to you that the project could proceed under, under an exception to our procurement policy. Um, and I was, I was challenged, and, and rightfully so. So I, I decided that I, I, I simply wasn't going to assume the risk of such a stance. And uh, the council wasn't really uh, followed in, in the first place. So I, I do apologize for equivocating on that point, but um, I did let the city council know at the next meeting that I wasn't comfortable <coughs> proceeding with a good process. Uh, it wasn't at that final meeting when the item was actually placed on the agenda for formal consideration. Um, thank you. Thank you, Judge. I made a report saying unfinished business, public hearing for consideration of an ordinance amending Chapter 7, Finance and Taxation, <coughs> Section 7. Dash 47.1.1 of the Code of City of Trinidad, Colorado, for the purpose of revising requirements for membership to the Tourism Board of the City of Trinidad, Colorado. Hearing is now open. Do we have any questions or concerns relative to the changing of the ordinance? Mr. Mayor? Yes, go ahead. Uh, when we had this first reading on this, and we were uh, talking about this in the council meeting, uh, is it my understanding that this ordinance here is going to consider county residents at the end of this period of work? I think it opens it up to the county, yeah, county residents. Okay, because I, I think I was just a little bit med, uh, misled on that first reading. I, I got a little confused on that, and I thought it was for just city people. So.